First time, what's your GG's? How do you reset W? When you get a kill or proc your Q, I believe. You guys enjoying Gorillion? It's so much fun, man. I love this champ. You get stacks by enemies standing in your E and killing minions with your E. So your E is very key. That's why CDR build is good. What do you think, chat? What do you think about the build? We can go crown, we can go ever first, we can go rod. No thoughts, brain smooth. <laughs> Riftmaker? Can't really do it though. You're out of mana with Riftmaker, nothing will save you. Man, that was so bad. Yeah, crown might be optimal. I'm not joking. Crown might be the way to play. How is matchup against Toriana? Should be alright. Better than LeBlanc. I just started playing this champ, guys. I know as much as you know. I'm just learning as I go, you know? Using knowledge I have of Oriana. Trying to figure out what we can do. Like, I'm thinking if she queues forward, I can jump at her and spam my Q, but I will run out of mana. Like, I'll probably run out of mana before, like, I can kill her, so... It's not even worth to run your mana down for a trade. That's what I'm thinking. I'm getting stacks like this here and there, you know. I don't know how worth it is to focus on stacks early. I lose some of my mana trying to get some stacks. But I think it's also like creating pressure in lane, which is decent. This cannon is too thick. My bad there, positioning. Uh, we're alright though. I'll do the crown again, but I'm gonna get this first now. That's the thing I forgot last time. I forgot. Man! My W is so sad at this stage when you compare it to last game. Tiny dragon with a tiny PP pee -pee. can't fly. We're not losing on Aurelion, that's what matters. Fuck Velkas, dude. Dog shit champ. Losing on Velkas is a given. Sad, slightly out of range. Species has been knocked back into the store. Fair enough. Tip of the day, Velka's dog should stop playing. True. It's all about the Aurelion, man. Nah, this champ is too good. It's so much fun. I absolutely love it. Yeah, all the abilities are just badass. Ah, I'm dead. Can't escape, might as well try to fight, do some damage. There's absolutely no escape there, unfortunate. As soon as I take the trade, he appears. My bad. Oh no! Oh no! She missed. Damage is insane? Nah, that's not insane damage. His early game damage is garbage. I was standing there, like, I couldn't move. I'm channeling, I'm getting shit on. What I think is the best ASL build? It's very dependable, like, on the situation. There's so many different variants you can do. I got 70 stacks, that's pretty good. 70 at this point is good. Kinda feels like the older mages died power creep, newer rework ones. Pretty much, yeah. It's exactly what happens. The thing is with Aurelion, they managed to keep, like, the identity there. And it's a brilliant design. So he's still a mage, and he doesn't go crazy. Okay, you down? Bro, can you just rotate? She dies. Yeah, unfortunate. Good flash though. Good flash by her. Probably shouldn't have ulted there in retrospect. Leave will be coming. I'll wait for my crown 100 gold. Where's he gonna defend here? Kill Tibbers! Easy money. Very annoying thing about Aurelion is like, after you get off a game, like you have the post-game depression, you know? Cause you had like 500 stacks, you were big, your ult was doing crazy uh, AOE. And the next game you're just like a tiny Choga. Post-game depression is legit, guys. She got paralyzed. She had no idea what to do. She was so confused. Shockwave? Got reset, right? Nah, she flashed! The yeah, Senna was gonna heal me after. That was nice play, though. Very nice play. Damage insane for just one ability? The thing is, it's like the entire kit revolves around that ability. So it's not quite insane for like one ability. It's just, it's really how, how you position it, how well you use it. That's like saying like all the damage from Yi comes from like auto attacks, you know? He just has to jump on you and then you die. I mean, that's kind of like the, the, the point of the champ. Exactly, like old W was. Pretty good. We got the stacks. Nice 
try? She might greed. Oh, he gets her. We're microwaving him. I'm really digging this character. He's coming mid. Yeah, I'm not staying there. Magi is, is online, ladies and gentlemen. 180 stacks feels good. I need the big ult. Nah, demonic isn't that good. Demonic is just a complete bait of an item. It smells good, but once you eat it, it's terrible. Well, not terrible, but like it can synergize, especially when you're running build like this. But. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to block. I'm trying to block you. I knew Lee Sin was gonna come back. Trying to keep my boy alive. Stardust! Give it here. Give me all your Stardust. What? Oh, my, my uh, W went backwards there. Feels bad. Heal! Too much limit testing, guys. Big ult is just so fun. Advice for build past lane phase, but we often mid lane, but I can't keep my lead extended. That's the issue with most players because it's partially not your issue. Your team needs to play around you and you need to make team fights. But then you also gotta like short call and figure out how to do minimal amount of side laning and bait enemies into fights. I hope thank you get early. Like this is 20 minutes and I have 3k HP in early. Tibbers is given vision. There we go, we got the proc. Ah, <laughs> go on. Man, he's so sexy with a clear. So fun to play. Recent kills kind of disgusting. It's something that gives you agency in solo queue. Shouldn't really break any uh, real games, you know? But for solo queue, it gives you a lot of agency. This is where you get to play. This is where you're like doing Aurelion stuff. Man, that r range play was so good. She just couldn't do anything. Drive by. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I can't believe it, man. This champ is so fun. It's so fun. So goddamn fun.